the Istanbul nostalgic tramways are two heritage tram lines in the city still operating. The one which is on the European side is the Taksim Tunnel Nostalgia Tramway and has a length of 1.6 km. The tram follows the city center, the most famous pedestrian shopping street in Istanbul, the Istiklal Avenue and binds Taksim Square with the Tunnel Square where the upper station is located. This Roman Catholic Church belonged to Franciscan friars who came to Constantinople in the 13th century and founded the first Christian order outside the Orthodox Church on the Bosphorus. St. Antoine Basilica or St. Antoine de Padua Church is the basilica and the largest church of the Roman Catholic Church in Istanbul. The original St. Anthony of Padua Church was built in 1725 by the local Italian community of Istanbul but was later demolished and replaced with the current building which was constructed on the same location. The Galata Mevlevi House Museum was built in 1491 and was the first Mevlevi house in Istanbul.
the Galata Bridge spans the Golden Horn in Istanbul. From the end of the 19th century in particular, the bridge has featured in Turkish literature, theatre, poetry and novels. Throughout history, lots of bridges were built which united the two shores of the Golden Horn. According to the historical resources, the first bridge on the Golden Horn was built by the Justinianus I of the 16th century. During the conquest of Istanbul, a bridge on the Golden Horn was built by the Fatih Sultan Mehmet. When Constantinopolis was fallen down in 1453, this bridge was used for the passage of the army from one side of the Golden Horn to the other side. The aqueduct of Valens was a Roman aqueduct system built in the late 4th century AD to supply Constantinople. Its construction began during the reign of the Roman Emperor Constantius II and was completed in 373 by the Emperor Valens. The aqueduct remained in use for many centuries. It was extended and maintained by the Byzantines and the Ottomans. After three bridges that were built on the Golden Horn, the bridge which is called the Galata Bridge today was built in 1912 by the German company named Manag for 350,000 golden liras. The 466 meter long and 25 meter wide bridge was used until the fire on 16th May 1992. The reason why the bridge was burned is still a mystery. It was repaired and was placed between Balat and Haskoy and a modern Galata bridge was built. For over a decade, local fishermen have habitually spent time along Galata Bridge catching favorite fish such as sardines, bluefish, horse mackerel and palamut. Today hundreds of local fishermen can be seen during day and night standing along Galata Bridge shoulder to shoulder with their long fishing rods planted in the water, all with the intention of trying to fill their buckets. Below the bridge, vendors can be seen preparing and selling fresh fish along the water with row of restaurants available for visitors to enjoy local Turkish seafood dishes. Street food is very much part of Istanbul way of life. 
Bordering the golden horn next to the Galata Bridge, you will find the best authentic flavor of Istanbul street food. So make sure you reach there with an empty stomach. Lokma are pastries made of leavened and deep fried dough balls, soaked in syrup of honey, sometimes coated with cinnamon or other ingredient. The dish was known from ancient Greek literature as honey tokens. According to Callimachus, they were given as small gifts to the victors of Olympic Games. More of a snack than a meal, midi dolma is none other than the mussels of the half shell mixed with spicy rice and served with a squeeze of lemon juice. Istanbul's favorite lunchtime street food to munch on is balik ekmek or fish sandwich. The fish is grilled with herbs and crushed red pepper before being placed inside bread with a nice squeeze of lemon and eater's choice of lettuce, tomato, onion and even peppers. There is no more authentic way to enjoy Istanbul's seaside life than with a fish sandwich in hand. The new mosque, originally named the Walide Sultan Mosque after its partial reconstruction and completion between 1660 and 1665, is an Ottoman imperial mosque and is an example of the Sultanate of Women period in Ottoman Empire. The Spice Bazaar was started to be built by the architect Dabut Aga in 1597 under the instruction of Safiye Sultan, the wife of Sultan Murad III and the mother of Sultan Mehmed III. It was completed as part of the new mosque complex by architect Mustafa Aga in 1664 by Hatiz Darhan Sultan, mother of Sultan Mehmed IV.
mosque is an early 16th century Ottoman imperial mosque located in Bayezid Square in Istanbul, near the ruins of the Forum of Theodosius of ancient Constantinople. The mosque was commissioned by the Ottoman Sultan Bayezid II and was the second large imperial mosque complex to be erected in Istanbul after the conquest in 1453. The Grand Bazaar in Istanbul is one of the largest and oldest covered markets in the world with 61 covered streets and over 4,000 shops. It is often regarded as one of the first shopping malls of the world. Turkey pide are breads that have a center of filling, be it beef, cheese or vegetarian. Pide is usually shaped in an oval or boat or round shape and is commonly described as a Turkish pizza. The large Fatih Mosque is an Ottoman mosque in the Fatih district of Istanbul. The original mosque was constructed between 1463 and 1470 on the site of the Church of the Holy Apostles. Also known as the Conqueror's Mosque, it is named after the Ottoman Sultan Mehmed the Conqueror, known in Turkey as Fatih Sultan Mehmed, who conquered Constantinople in 1453.
The Suleimani Mosque is an Ottoman imperial mosque located on the third hill of Istanbul. The mosque was commissioned by Suleiman the Magnificent and designed by the imperial architect Mimar Sinan. For 462 years, the Suleimaniye Mosque was the largest mosque in the city until it was surpassed by the Kamlika Mosque in 2019. Behind the Qibla wall of the mosque is an enclosure containing the separate octagonal mausoleums of Suleiman the Magnificent and that of his wife Hurem Sultan. The Soleimaniye Mosque is one of the best known sites of Istanbul and from its location on the third hill it commands an extensive view of the city around the Golden Horn. The mosque's four minarets with their ten beautiful seraphs are said to represent the fact that Suleiman was the fourth of the Osmanli sultans to rule the city and tenth sultan after the establishment of the empire. Its architect Mimar Sinan was the chief Ottoman architect and civil engineer for Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, Selim II and Murad III. Sinan was responsible for the construction of more than 300 major structures and other more modest projects such as schools. An inscription specifies the foundation date as 1550 and the inauguration date as 1557. 